Hello, I thought I'd introduce you to, this is Emmy, part contributor to the eggs, which is part contributor to the distressing of the silver. This, she's, her real name is Emmeline Pankhurst and she was given to me by some neighbours before they left. And she'd already, I don't know if you can see, because she's got a very bad eye here. Oh, poor Emmy. And it's white, basically. She might open it. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Emmy. And she was attacked by a hawk. And she's quite interested in these hard-boiled eggs, which seems um, a bit strange, really, doesn't it? <laughs> no, Emmy, you can't eat them. Look, I bet she would if she could. Oh, she would. <laughs> Gosh, you wouldn't have thought so, would you? But then they do eat eggs, but I'd never knew hens could eat hard-boiled eggs. Anyhow, she's called Emmeline Pankhurst, which is just as well. That was before she displayed her incredible true grit, because not only had she been attacked by a hawk, but when she came to live here, she's very happy free-ranging, and she used to go off down the lane. Everything was fine. Then one day, a lady came with a spaniel that wasn't trained, and it wasn't on the lead, saw Emmy, a spaniel meant to just flush, not kill, so it wasn't a strain spaniel, and it attacked her on the back, and her whole back was ripped open, and it's still, it's still pretty raw, but it's all healed up, and so I rescued her, and held her, and her heart was going 100 beats to the minute, or 100 beats to 12 beats as it were, I thought any minute now she's just going to die of shock, and so I just held her, and sort of said please don't die Emmy and um, we took her to the vet and there was a very nice lady vet there and she looked at her and I thought this is really silly isn't it bringing a hen to the vet thinking I eat chicken this isn't right anyhow they cleaned her up took all the bits of dirt out and removed the dead feathers and then they saw the skin was just enough to kind of pull it over and stitch it together leaving a few gaps that became scar tissue and so she had a whole month in our in our back bedroom, spare bedroom as it were. I put lots and lots of um, puppy pads all over the floor and she had a little box and occasionally she came out and wobbled about and tried to walk and she's better. I mean that was in February or March and now we're into August, September but she used to be head of the pecking order and when I put her back into with the other hens they'd forgotten her and we had a couple of new ones as well by then. There's five altogether, including Emmy. And she'd just grown new feathers on her back and they attacked her and literally pecked out her feathers. So I brought her back into the into this place, into the shed, for a month and looked after her. And then we put her back. Only this time I brought her a little separate coop, which I put into the big hen pen and fed them along the side. So they thought they were sharing food, but really there was wire netting in between them. And bit by bit they got used to each other. And you've become very, very affectionate, haven't you, darling? Yes, yes. And um, and now she's head of the pecking order again. So although she's, she is a real true survivor, but she's head of the pecking order. Hi, I'll just finish this, okay? Anyhow, I'm going to stop now and pop her back, okay? Bye.